Hello, Saka Fat. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make some homemade hummus. If you want to see how I make this recipe, guys, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. So guys, I bought a big bag of chickpeas at the supermarket and it's been sitting here for a while. I made some curry one time and I'm thinking, oh, what can I make with all this chickpeas? So I'm thinking, oh, hummus. And I have all the ingredients in my kitchen, so why not? So I took two cups of the dried chickpeas. I put it in some cold water in a bowl, let it sit in that overnight. And then I cooked it for about 45 minutes. And you can see this is what it looks like, guys. So I roasted some garlic. And this is it that's going to go in there i have some lemon fresh lemon so i'm going to get the juice out of this lemon some tahini sauce and i had this um thing sitting in my cupboard there for quite a while and never used it so it's time to use it up that's it some olive oil for after okay guys so i'm gonna get my food processor and i'm gonna show you how it all gonna come together so i got my food processor here guys and i'm gonna put this chickpeas in there now look how much chickpeas it's two cups makes it a lot so we're just gonna pour it in and then i'm gonna put some garlic in there so because i want that to blend in there and flavor it really well i'm gonna leave a couple pieces just to garnish it after. So we do need a little salt in here, I forgot. So I'm just gonna put about it, not too much, little, uh, I'm not too much into salt. So just about half a teaspoon. Okay, that should be enough. And then I'm gonna squeeze my lemon out. Okay, so I have the juice from half a lemon. I'm gonna pour that in there, tahini sauce in there. So now I'm just gonna cover it up. Close it up. So I think I'll put a little bit of water now, just to loosen it up, okay? So I just opened it up, tasted it up. I could use the other half of my lemon because it is a little tight. So when it's like that, guys, we're just gonna add some more liquid to it. And lemon juice gives it really good flavor. So I like lemon juice actually better than the water, but I might need to put some more water as well. But let me try it just with some more lemon juice. So I'm using the whole lemon now. I want that to loosen up starting to look really good guys all right guys so i'm just gonna check it and for my garlic i did roast them i just use a whole like a head of garlic and i just cut the top off i put it in my little toaster oven for about 15 minutes and that's and then i just squeeze them out so let's see guys i'm looking at it it's still got some peas in there so you just taste it you know try it out just put a little more water it's very thick and i want it to be really creamy okay guys oh look at that i think it's ready now it looks so nice and creamy and oh yeah this is perfect okay see this is how you want it to look so guys look how beautiful that looks homemade hummus with some nice pita bread Anything you want to eat it with, you can. I love it. I'm just going to sit later and have it. I'm going to, actually, I don't have any um, naan or pita. So I'm going to get myself some. And this week, I'll be eating a lot of that hummus. And you know, guys, you don't need the um, dry peas you, to do it. You don't have to go through all that trouble. If you have the canned um, chickpeas, it works just the same. So it's just, I happen to have the dry ones. So use your canned ones and try it out it's a quick um, little recipe you have your friends coming over it's something you can whip up 
uh, just make sure you have the like that tahini sauce for those of you who are not familiar with this this is what it looks like tahini is ground sesame so just look for ground sesame and it's the same thing and i'm just going to finish this off with my roasted garlic i'm just going to put a couple on top and you can use as much as you like and some extra virgin olive oil i'm just going to drizzle it right on top of it like that that's it it's a great little dish to try any time of the year you want to try it quick and easy thank you for watching have yourselves a great day and god bless